morning everyone. I thought I would film a day in my life today. A bit more of a health related what I eat in a day, day in the life just because that's just something I've been really enjoying lately and I feel like my channel just reflects my interests. But yeah, I just wanted to update you on a few things that I've been doing. So first of all, this morning we have two drinks. I've been doing this every single day. Brayden's been making me this green, not so great looking one, but it's really good for you. It's apple cider vinegar and chlorophyll and he just put some water in there. It tastes disgusting. I hold my nose and drink it, but it's good to get the hydration in in the morning and obviously apple cider vinegar and chlorophyll has lots of benefits. And then over here, as you will have seen just before, I made myself a bone broth, which I've been trying to have in the morning on an empty stomach before eating, just like while I wake up. And like bone broth is meant to be amazing for helping you with your gut issues and things like that. I actually really don't mind the taste of this one. I know a lot of people add stuff into their bone broth and some people are like, oh, it's disgusting. But genuinely, like, I don't know if I just got lucky, but that one tastes really good. Um, it tastes to me almost like a chicken, chicken and sweet corn soup broth. Do you know what I mean? Like it tastes like soup. It's really nice. And yeah, it's pretty easy to drink. I just drink it like a coffee or something in the morning while I'm doing something else. This, however, not so easy to drink, but just hold my nose. And usually in the mornings, I would get up and try and get out and do something. I've been really good in 2024 at getting out and either going for a run or going to the gym. I just like to start my routine by doing some form of like exercise and just getting out of the house. But genuinely, my legs are that sore from a run that we did the other day. So I've decided just to give myself a bit of time for recovery because that's also really important to do. So yeah, it'll be nice to have a little bit of a slower morning and then I've got a busy day. I actually need to go and get my license renewed today. So I've got to go and do that. Hopefully that's an easy process. I totally didn't even realize it was time to get my license renewed. It went by so fast. I've also got some new white box bits that I want to share with you guys in this video that are hanging on my new clothing rack in the office. So we'll have breakfast and then I'll get ready and I'll show you those clothes. For breakfast, we are gonna have scrambled eggs on toast. And I've been really working on making my breakfast a bit more high protein lately. So one way that I've been doing that is by adding cottage cheese into my eggs because an egg has about like six grams of protein. So yeah, three eggs is 18 grams. And then with about a fourth of a cup of cottage cheese that makes it 30 so that's what I'm aiming for I'm aiming for like 30 grams of protein each meal especially with like all of the training I've been doing lately and it also just keeps you full for longer as well which I really like plus it's also really nice I was actually really grossed out at first about the idea of putting cottage cheese in my eggs because I swear my mum used to put cottage cheese in my dog's food growing up. So I like associated cottage cheese with dog's food. I actually really enjoy it. One thing I also like to do is add chives into it. I just think that gives it a really nice flavor. I know you can buy chive flavored cottage cheese, but I don't know, I just thought it'd be nice to add them in myself. This has been my go-to breakfast for the past month or so. And genuinely I have noticed a difference in how I've been feeling. Like until lunchtime, I'm not hungry at all. Like I feel very, very satisfied. Add about this much cottage cheese. We have a little friend on our balcony. Sometimes these cockatoos like to come and sit around here. Sometimes, honestly, there's heaps of them. All right, I'm dressed. And like I said before, I wanted to start off this vlog by sharing with you guys some pieces from White Fox. I have my new clothing rack that I got recently behind me with all of the outfits, which helps so much because I've been able to like style pieces and just see what I've got. And I've had these clothes for a little bit, so I've actually already worn them out and about. You may have seen some of the outfits on my Instagram, including what I'm wearing right now. I love these pieces. So as always, I do have a discount code for White Fox. It's LRWF if you want to pick up anything. And let me show you some of the pieces that I got. Starting off with this set. I have worn this outfit so many times already. It's just this really cute baby pink linen set. We've got these really comfortable elasticated shorts and then an oversized like linen shirt. My favorite way to wear it is just like by tucking in one side, just like this. It just gives a really relaxed, comfy vibe. And I think this is like the perfect set to wear in the summer to chop on top of cozies. 
looks really really pretty and it's different to your standard just like white linen shirt next up we have this dress which i think would be perfect for valentine's day it's just so pretty with the little red roses on it and it's got little polka dots in between it fits really really nicely and i just love the top part of this dress it's just got little ribbons and you can tighten it depending on how you want it to sit the dress contours the body really nicely and feels really quite comfortable so I have no plans for Valentine's Day just yet with Brayden, but depending on what we do, maybe I will wear this one. This next dress would also be perfect for Valentine's Day. I actually wore it, not yesterday, but the day before for my friend's bridal shower. She loves pink and I feel like this is the most pink you can really get. It's just such a pretty dress that would be perfect if you were a wedding guest as well. Like this is just such... A wedding dress. I actually love this color as well. I'm not usually into a hot pink. This just looks really nice and I didn't have any fake tan on or anything and I just think it's still really complemented my skin tone and overall it's just a beautiful dress. So I also did pick up some shoes and a bag that I wore with this so I'll show you them. These are the shoes that I picked up to wear with this dress for the bridal shower. They're so cute. Just classic little white stiletto heels but they've got bows on the front which I just thought was a really cute little detail and had a few compliments on them when I wore them really comfy as well and then this is the bag that I picked up to go along with this outfit just a faux leather white bag which just looks really nice and dressy and is like the perfect size for fitting in like my camera phone lip gloss and all that kind of stuff next up we have this gorgeous maxi dress in this like beige tan color it's so nice and flowy and I actually picked it up in the light pink as well because I just think it's so pretty so this is what the back looks like it's got a really nice crossed back and I think this would be the perfect just birthday picnic summer dress to have in your wardrobe you could definitely dress this up with heels or something but you could also just wear sneakers or something like that but love this dress. And this is the pink version of that same dress. It's so pretty. This would be like the perfect baby shower, bridal shower, party. It's just like a very versatile dress that you could wear for lots of different occasions. I definitely picked up a lot of dresses from White Fox this time, but I just love the style of dress. Now this dress is absolutely stunning. I don't know where I'm gonna wear it, but I love it so, so much. It's just fits so perfectly and doesn't feel like it's going to slip down at all it's actually got a little bit of elastic on the inside so it won't slip around but it's just a fitted strapless knit dress and i think it's so beautiful there's a little slit down the side so you can walk comfortably in it and the final dress i picked up is this one just a little sage green mini dress love this color and it just ties up at the front like this very much a holiday kind of dress hopefully by seeing these outfits it gives you some inspiration if you're wanting to purchase anything from White Fox. I feel like sometimes it's nice to be able to see what clothes look like in video form instead of just seeing them in photos. If you saw my last White Fox dedicated haul, you will have seen I picked up a bunch of their new active wear. I was obsessed. So the, I think the only color that I didn't pick up was this blue color. So I was like, I'm going to get it this time. And I just love the active wear so much. I've been wearing it nonstop ever since I got the last collection, but I just got this little crop top with this really cute little cross back. And then these scrunch bum shorts. It's just so comfortable. The material is like buttery. The waistband fits really nicely. It doesn't slip around. And like, I couldn't say enough good things about what they've done with this new active wear collection. I love White Fox oversized tee and I decided to get another one because I wear these all the time, all the time to the gym, all the time just around the house. Honestly, maybe I'll wear this for the rest of the day. I've just popped it on with some biker shorts, but this is just in a dark gray color and it says White Fox on it. I just love myself an oversized t-shirt. I feel really comfortable in them. And I think it would look really cute with this cap that I picked up. I picked up this cream white box cap, which yeah, looks really cute with this top. I just need to tighten it up a little bit, but I've been loving caps lately, especially when I've been going on my runs. So I wanted to add another one to my collection. I say collection, I think I've only got like one running cap. So it'd be nice to have another one to choose from. Another top that I got is this one. It just ties up at the front and around your neck and it actually feels really quite secure. This is what it looks like at the back. And again, I feel like it would be a nice cocktail top. I've just paired it with some denim shorts, but you could definitely dress this top up. I know my sister really liked this top as well because she was asking to borrow it the other day. And finally, I picked up some swimmers. White Fox Swim is so good. I've been eyeing up this cosy for a really long time and it fits 
perfectly. I love the black and white. I think it looks really classy. This bikini top feels really supportive and the bottoms as well fit perfectly like they don't feel loose at all and the last cosy that i picked up is this one piece which is white and has spaghetti straps it also has a low back and it just feels really comfortable and doesn't come too high on the hips which i like because sometimes one pieces i feel like come up to here on the hips and i just feel like it's just it's a little bit too much for me personally so i actually really like this one okay that's everything that i had to share with you guys i hope you enjoyed that mini white box haul in this vlog as always my discount code is ella wf if you want to pick up anything and i'll have everything linked in my description box i am going to make some lunch now and then i'm going to head out to go and get my license renewed so i don't have to worry about that anymore and also i just want to put the aircon on because it is so hot in here that's one thing about like filming hauls I can never put the aircon on because I don't want the audio to be all annoying, but it is so hot. <laughs> For lunch, I'm just having some meal prep. I've shown you guys this before, but it's just rice with chicken breast, Mediterranean mix, which you can just buy at like Coles. It's like a frozen veggie mix with potato, zucchini, capsicum, and things like that. And Brayden just puts it all together with I think like soy sauce and some herbs and it's really good. It is now the evening. I didn't end up going out today to get my driver's license renewed because turns out you can do it online since I guess like you can get your license digitally now. Like it's pretty easy just to renew it online. And after that, I just got on a roll of doing a bunch of admin stuff. Since my parents have like recently moved house, I've had to change my address for a lot of stuff. So I took the time to go through and do that. And I know like, I could have my address, like my current address where we live right now for a lot of these things. But just previously, I wanted to have their address just in case like we moved. But yeah, I've changed over to this address now because we're probably not moving. Not that I need to elaborate on that, but that's what I've been doing today. It actually took longer than I thought. I'm going to start making dinner now and I'm going to make a risotto. And I thought I'd show you guys the recipe. I love this dinner. It's one of Brayden's favorites. It's just like a prawn risotto, but I've recently started adding chicken into it as well because I just don't feel like we get enough protein with just prawns. So yeah, prawns and chicken in that way we can kind of like bulk it up a bit more and then we'll have like lots of leftovers for meal prep, which is really nice as well. So yeah, let me show you the ingredients that you need. So we have arborio rice. This is what you need for risotto. We have one liter of stock. I like chicken stock. Then we have a big bag of frozen prawns. I use all of these. And then we have some chicken breasts, which I'll cut up. And then for veggies, I just put peas in the risotto. I like to add a little bit of olive oil to the saucepan just so the rice doesn't stick to the bottom. And I always do one and a half cups. I find that one and a half cups is the perfect quantity for one liter of stock. And I add in the chicken stock. I was just thinking I could definitely add the bone broth into that as well. Cause like it would just match the flavors really well, but it's also expensive. Like bone broth isn't cheap. So part of me is like, is it worth it? I don't know. I think I might just save it for my drink in the morning. Cause I'm actually like enjoying having it as a drink as well kind of nice so yeah now I'm just gonna leave it to come to a boil and then once it's boiling I'm gonna pop a lid on and let it simmer I'm now gonna pour all the prawns into the frying pan obviously they're frozen at the moment but I just keep stirring these until they're fully pink and they shrivel up I'm also going to cook the chicken breast in another frying pan just to save time and this is starting to come to a boil so I'm gonna grab a lid now and bring it down to a simmer but you do need to keep an eye on it because I find that when I let it simmer sometimes like it will fully bubble up and like start to overflow so you have to just like keep an eye on it for the peas I've just got them in a saucepan as well I'm just gonna boil them for a bit with some boiling water from the kettle is it super easy i like to add parmesan cheese on mine brayden's not a cheesy guy but i like to add it on there and it just kind of melts through it's so good definitely one of my favorite dinners brayden should be home soon but i think i might just watch some youtube in the meantime before he gets here <laughs> I 
know the clips from me at the gym this morning probably look like a different day because I'm wearing different activewear, but I promise it was this morning. I've just come home, had a shower, got back into more activewear because that's literally all I live in. And I think I'm going to head out for the day and go and work from my family's house, which will be nice. I bumped into my mom at the gym this morning and she was like, oh, when are you going to come over? When are you going to come and like debrief me on wedding stuff? And I was like, you know what? I could probably do that today and come and work from yours. Yeah, I've just got a lot to catch up with my mom about. I think I might get a coffee on the way because I'm in need of some energy today. I am feeling really quite tired. I can never work out if it's just like me just being, I don't know, lazy or not having enough sleep or if it's to do with me having low iron, which I assume it probably is. I'm actually having my infusion tomorrow. Yeah, I'm so curious to know if I'll feel so much better and more energized afterwards because at the moment I'm so struggling to wake up in the morning and just throughout the day I'm finding myself just being like, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. And I think the humidity as well, like it's so warm outside. I think that doesn't help. Honestly, I could probably have one of these, but I think I want a coffee. It was good timing because I just got sent these in the mail. These are energy drinks. I did not know that these were getting sent to my house. It's by Prime. They're like lemon and lime energy drinks. There's like a massive pack of them. And then they also sent a bunch of their hydration drinks, which I'm really excited to try. This is what their hydration drinks look like. I've just popped one in the fridge so I can have one now. And they seem like a really good post-workout drink. It's got coconut water, BCAAs, B vitamins, antioxidants, and electrolytes. So like the perfect thing to have, especially post-run actually. That would be really good. Let's try it. Yum. That's really, really good actually. It's really sweet. I thought it might just taste like flavored water, but it's actually quite strong. I drink really fast. <laughs> when I like something, I'm just gonna like scull it. So I'm gonna try not to do that. I'm gonna bring this with me to my family's house, bring my laptop, get a coffee, and we'll go out for the day. Yes, thank you, you. thanks. Okay, so I've come around to my family's house. Not done too much walk walking, working. Just done more wedding planning, to be honest, because I didn't even say in the vlog, but like on the weekend, we went to go and view another wedding venue. Like my hand is so shaky. Oh yeah, Lily's holding the camera right now. And this wedding venue is looking really promising. We, we thought we'd found the one. We thought we'd found the one, but now we're thinking we found the real one. We thought you found the real one until they saw it. Oh yeah. Oh, you can't um, even see it right now. Mum, oh yeah. Mum got bitten by a mosquito. It's like, I've never seen that many mosquitoes in my life on one particular person. She got eaten alive and she's got like literal scabs all over her back from that original place that we went to. So we're thinking of going somewhere else. Anywho, beside the point, we were just talking about that today because Brendan and I are thinking of signing the contract. And now Lily has asked me to go for a run with her and I just thought I'd check in, but I was like, <laughs> I need to film this because my dad has just given me his old running socks, which are clean, but like, these are the funniest things I've ever seen. They are running socks that have toe holes. It's like gloves, but for your feet. But apparently it's meant to stop blisters. <laughs> This is what it looks like. And I didn't bring sneakers with me or socks because I didn't know we were gonna go on a run. So it looks like, we'll borrow my shoes and you can wear dad's socks. But I'm just like, this is just the funniest thing ever. Like, look, here you go. Here's some free feet content for the internet. <laughs> it just looks so weird. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's so creepy. It fully looks like a glove. <laughs> I want to see the sunset. What? The sunset and my ankles. <laughs> Shall I wear them like this? Yes. I feel like I need to... Like Wait, but if I, go like, if I go like that, then I'll Well, that's bad. fine. Yeah. I'll do that. Well, maybe I'll test them out. But the other thing is, I don't know if your shoes fit me. So, <laughs> yeah. Maybe we could just go on like a little jog walk thing. I mean, my running will be a jog walk for you. <laughs> so, yes, that's fine by me. Just do something. We can just go for a walk. <laughs> Braden actually went to the shop the other day to go and buy some of these for himself. Um, he was going to get me some as well, but then Dad's like, "Don't worry, you can borrow." Yeah, Dad can't, Dad can't wear them because his little toe is so small. <laughs> 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 oh, you just so you got the same problem. We ended up going for a walk. We didn't decide to go for a run just because. Well, basically the shoes didn't fit me. 
and we decided just to go for a walk. <laughs> we got a oh, I haven't even stopped my watch. Oh, no. oh, it says I've walked three kilometers now. Oh, that's just because we've driven. driven. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take it. I am home and making dinner. I'm making egg roll in a bowl tonight, which is another one of our favorite dinners. So I've just got some turkey breast mince that I've just minced up and I'm going to add in some grated carrot. I'm a bit lazy and I've just got the packeted one and some four season slaw. You can also get a cabbage and just like chop it up, but I always find like we have way too much cabbage when I buy a full one. So I prefer to do this. So I'm going to pop that in and then add the sauce. It looks like a lot, but honestly, in a few minutes it will wilter down and like not be much at all. So I just keep stirring it and sometimes I'll add a little bit of water just so the steam helps filter it down. For the sauce, I'm just going to do one fourth of a cup of soy sauce, about one teaspoon of olive oil, about one teaspoon of garlic. I just use like the minced one, which you keep in the fridge. And then one teaspoon of ginger paste as well. Got the same thing, but for ginger, about one tablespoon of honey. And then you can also add sesame oil, but I don't have any. So I'm just going to stir this up and add that in. And then I just top everything off with some sesame seeds. And then that is it. Such an easy, quick dinner. And I've just paired it with some jasmine rice. Good morning. It is Wednesday. I'm going to go for a run this morning. Today is the day of my iron infusion, which is at 11 o'clock and it's 8 a.m. now. So I'm gonna try and get this done so that I can pop to the chemist because I think I need to go and pick up something for them to use for the iron, iron infusion. Like I've got a prescription for the actual iron, so I've got to go do that. But I've got a nine kilometer interval run today. I procrastinate these runs so much. I enjoy doing the long runs and the easy runs, but the tempo ones, I don't know. I think it's just because you're obviously really pushing yourself, which is so good to do though because that's how you get better. And it also helps with just getting fitter and helping you control your heart rate. So it's important to do. It's just not always the easiest and the most fun to do, especially when it's warm, but I don't think it's too hot today. So that's good. These runs are honestly just quite mentally and physically hard. And I don't think this one today even gives me any walking breaks. Like it's pretty much consistent and it's just getting faster and faster. But I'm following a program and if the program thinks I can do it, surely that means that I can do it. So we're just going to go for it and get out there. I'm also trying my dad's running socks because obviously I didn't go for a run with Lily yesterday and I really want to test them out to see if they actually help with my blisters because I get the worst blisters from running on my toes. It's actually horrible, like so, so bad. So if I can prevent it, that would be great. Done. I only ended up doing six kilometers mainly because I don't really have enough time to do any more to be honest I would have liked to have tried to do nine but to be honest I found that really hard it's 10 a.m. right now and I think maybe it's just got a little bit too hot I need some more food in my stomach and yeah I just wasn't feeling it I guess not every run is the one but the pace was really really good which I'm really happy with so I did the first kilometer at around six minutes the next two kilometers was at five minutes 50. Then I did another two at five minutes 45. And then the last kilometer I did at five minutes 20, which was very fast. And I kept finding it really hard to stick to the speed though. I'd either be going too slow or too fast. Like it's really hard to be like bang on the speed. So I tried my best, but overall I think my average pace was five minutes 43, which I'm really, really happy with. The infusion is done and that was so easy, like much better than I expected. I honestly didn't know what to expect, but it was kind of like a blood test. I got to lie down and they just hooked me up to the iron infusion. First of all, they did like a little flush, which didn't hurt really. And then they, yeah, hooked me up and the iron dripped from a little bag for about 20 minutes. I thought it was going to be a bit longer. So yeah, I just pretty much just sat there on my phone for 20 minutes and then it was done. The only thing that I felt that was a little bit different was that my hand went a bit cold and tingly, but I also think it's because my hand was kind of like 
this for 20 minutes so I think all the blood had just drained to my hand and I just had pins and needles but I feel fine I don't even have like a metallic taste in my mouth because apparently sometimes that can happen maybe it will happen later but I believe as well it can take up to 14 days to absorb the iron so yeah fingers crossed I start to feel a little bit better and more awake because lately I've just been catching myself saying I feel tired way too often anyway I decided to pop to the post office while I was out I've just gone to my PO box and I think this is a parcel from Dermalogica so I thought I'd open it up what's this this is what we have in the parcel it's come with this little device how does this actually work? Do you just like rub your serums in with it or something? This powerful serum helps promote, protect, and preserve skin's collagen today so you have more for tomorrow. Supporting visibly plumper, more luminous skin and hydrating to help reduce the look of fine lines and into the future. Thank you, Demologica. I am gonna go home now and get on with some work. It's a lot later on in the day now and I just wanted to update you on how I'm feeling because I had the iron infusion this morning, but honestly, I feel completely fine. No side effects. I need to take this off my arm, but other than that, I feel completely fine. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the vlog though. I feel like it was a little bit random. I started off thinking I was doing a day in my life, but typical me, I didn't really feel like I had enough footage for the day. So I decided to continue on vlogging for a few more days and yeah, I got to show you a lot of different recipes and different things that I've been eating lately. So hopefully that gave you some inspiration and you enjoyed watching. Also, I just wanted to say those running socks I kept going on about earlier actually were really, really good. So I might have to go and get some more because my feet felt fine. I had no blisters, but that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.